Welcome. In this video, I will show and explain how to uh, create custom power modes on your Asus uh, ROG Xbox Ally X device. In order to do so, you're going to have to open the Armory Crate application on your device or Armory Crate SE. To do so, press the Xbox icon, then select Armory Crate on the bar right here and then uh, wait for this application to open. Once it opens, you're going to have to tap the gear icon in the top left corner of the screen to open the settings menu, then go to performance menu. And here you have uh, three different uh, standard modes. Now briefly explaining them, uh, the silent mode will limit your CPU and GPU power and will reduce the noise levels of your uh, fans uh, in order to uh, in order to, to basically make your device as cool, uh, as quiet as possible. Now, the performance mode balances performance, temperature, and fan speed. Turbo mode maximizes the power to CPU and GPU for high performance. So, uh, basically, this is the mode that sh that is... You should preferably uh, use this mode uh, with the charging cable plugged into your device to minimize your uh, battery wear. And the Windows mode that is also present right here will simply transfer your Windows settings to to this device, and it will apply it on the, uh, on it, apply them on it. And also you have the manual mode right here. Uh, once you enter it, tap OK. And now let's create a new custom mode by tapping this three uh, three dot icon in the uh, on the right side and select Create New. And now. Uh, what we can do here, we can adjust these three values, SPL, SPPT, and FPPT, and we can also change the fan curvature. Uh, let's start with these three values. What do they mean? So SPL, or what is SPL? It's a sustained power limit. So it's basically the, uh, the basic power limit that your device uh, uh, applies uh, it uh, well uh, uses for uh, long t uh, term uh, power sustain uh, sustaining uh, by, by, uh, and so basically that that's uh, that's the limit that's the threshold for for your device's uh, basic CPU and GPU performance. This SPPT level is uh, the short period uh, a slow package power tracking. Uh, it's uh, what what's the this abbreviation means and. Uh, uh, it's basically the power uh, the power threshold that your device has re device reaches uh, for about 30 seconds to two minutes uh, for a midterm boost power window. Uh, so when some heavy task comes in to your device, and the FPPT level uh, is uh, the short burst power limit for a few seconds, allowing max turbo boost during intense uh, load spikes and these or all, all of these values are uh, dependent uh, each each uh, on on each other uh, so uh, basically setting the higher value of SPL will increase this the SPPT value and increasing the SPPT value will also increase the FPPT value uh, so none of so FPPT cannot be lower than SPPT and SPPT cannot be lower than SPL. Uh, of course, it's not recommended to to use uh, well to apply the maximum power usage to to this uh, uh, to this value. Uh, it's quite of inadequate because uh, because it will apply a lot of damage to your device's hardware. So I would say that the, the thresholds, the upper thresholds, because the, I don't think that there is something like a low, uh, a low bottom uh, threshold, uh, would be 20 watts for SPL, then the 25 watts for SPPT, and 30 watts for FPPT. I think we can actually apply these values here and uh, um, let's make it a an extreme performance mode or something like this. Now, let's scroll down to fan one and fan two. Uh, now, uh, how, how does uh, this work? 
Uh, so, we have fan 1 and fan 2, and uh, the diff difference between them are that the fan 1 is the primary fan, which cools your device's CPU, and uh, fan 2 is the complementary one, which cools your device's uh, 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 GPU and enables airflow uh, th throughout your device. Therefore, values for them are, well, the cur curvature for them is quite different. Uh, but basically, uh, we have two axes uh, here. We have the speed of the fan in, uh, in percentage, and we have the uh, the temperature levels here. In, in my case, in c Celsius, but I, I, I think f Fahrenheit are also uh, uh, are also pre present on. Uh, on the, I, I don't know, on the American version of this application, though I'm not sure. Maybe maybe the American one also uses Celsius, uh, actually. Uh, so, uh, basically, uh, to briefly explain how this works, you, in, you increase the fan speed for some specific temperature on your device by moving uh, these uh, dots you see on the curvature. And now, uh, let me briefly explain how, how this works. So, for example, if you are using the if if the if, if the temperature on your device is below fifty percent, you can uh, keep your uh, fans as cool as uh, twenty to forty percent uh, level, or even lower. As you can see, by default they are lower, but but since it's an extreme uh, power mode. Well, then uh, I think we should actually bring them up and then once once the uh, temperature rises above 50 percent uh, we can set the value even higher so uh, since we are using uh, the very big amounts of uh, amount of uh, uh, vats uh, we should uh, also increase the fan speed to cool the device uh, up to 70 70 percent of fan speed uh, for for up to uh, for for up for uh, 60 to 90 uh, cel uh, Celsius so we can make it somewhat look somewhat like this and then we can uh, Oh, I think I think I make it too too high at this point. And then uh, once the device reaches the uh, 90, uh, 90 uh, uh, Celsius, we can uh, basically enable the maximum speed. But if you don't want your device to be uh, too loud, then of course uh, then of course apply the adequate uh, amount of f fan speed uh, to your uh, to your devices. Uh, to, uh, to your to your SPL, SPPT, and FPT levels. Also, uh, somehow it's it's really really hard uh, and really very very tricky thing to do uh, using the touchpad. I'm not sure if, if we can use. No, I think we cannot use unfortunately buttons for this. So it's only usable with a uh, touchpad. So let's set it to somewhat like this. Now we can actually keep the static fan speed after 90 degrees, and then uh, the second fan can uh, we can apply uh, slightly lower values to the second fan since so uh, it's not that it's only it's only used to apply uh, to to reduce the temperature of the GPU, which doesn't get too hot, and. Uh, Normally and and, uh, and 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 it also enables airflow. So if we set these values uh, too high, uh, then uh, it will probably uh, make the device way too loud. Uh, I wish I, <laughs> I wish I, I was more le or less clumsy with this thing. But yeah, basically that's how you do it. You just move the dots to apply the right temperature levels and uh, the, the, the apply the, the right uh, fan speed uh, levels 
Okay, let's let's just keep it like this. And now uh, how to apply this mode. First of all, let's rename it by tapping three dot icon right here, then select rename. And uh, let's uh, name it extreme performance. Oh, great. Tap rename and then tap apply then tap yes and now the extreme performance mode is applied and now you can play even more demanding games on your device but make sure to keep these values adequate to each other and it's quite tricky but I think if you spend enough time in this uh, mode you will uh, you will get everything uh, you'll figure everything out yourself so that's basically how you do it uh, thank you for watching this video i'm sorry that it's uh, uh that it's became way too long longer than i expected uh, because of this uh, curvature and uh, a very uncomfortable handling of the curvatures um, but generally speaking i hope that you found this video helpful and if you did please consider subscribing to our channel leave us a like in the comment below and i'll see you in the next one